Coming up, I'll walk you through Windows Analytics and the latest capabilities across upgrade readiness, update compliance, and device health. If you're new to Windows Analytics, this allows you to manage your upgrades to Windows 10 and subsequent feature updates, stay current with quality and security updates, and proactively identify and mitigate issues to reduce support costs, all in one unified view. Over the past few months, we've added some new features based on your feedback. We now allow you to assess the status of your devices against the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities. There are also new ways to help you optimize your network bandwidth as you roll out your updates with something we call delivery optimization. And now you can even access detailed reports on application reliability, as well as logon information about your devices. To get started with Windows Analytics, you'll need to add the Windows Analytics solutions to an OMS workspace. The quickest way to find it is to follow the links shown. If you are new to Azure or OMS, click New Customer. I already have an account, so I'll select Existing Customer. Windows Analytics is already added to this workspace, so now you can start to configure your devices. Here, I'm using the Local Group Policy Editor to enable diagnostic telemetry data. This ensures that you can receive assessments and recommendations tailored to your PC environment. To learn more about setup, check out our previous mechanics shows or our Getting Started Guide. First, let's look at upgrade readiness. This solution allows you to plan and manage Windows upgrades and feature updates. As you can see here, we give you a comprehensive inventory of your environment, and you can select the version of Windows that you're planning to migrate to. Then, we take you through a four-step workflow to plan and manage your feature update or Windows upgrade project end-to-end. -end. Let's take a look at the workflow. The first step here is about identifying the set of applications that are important to your organization. Clicking into this blade, gives you the ability to rate how important each app is in your case, from ignore to mission critical. Next, we help you rationalize over your important applications to ensure that they're ready to upgrade. You can see here if any of your apps or drivers have issues known to Microsoft. When you click in, you can also see our recommended remediations. In this next blade, you can see a list of low-risk apps and drivers. And we also provide a prioritized list of apps and drivers that may require additional validation. Scrolling further, you can see your devices becoming ready to upgrade. And you can deploy the upgrade or feature update using System Center Configuration Manager or your management tool of choice. Once you've started your deployment, step four in the workflow gives you the ability to monitor your progress as well as see how your devices are performing post-upgrade. And that's the core upgrade readiness experience. New this year, we've added a Spectre and Meltdown assessment to help you address these vulnerabilities. The Spectre and Meltdown assessment provides insight into the status of your devices across three areas. First, you can verify that your devices are running a supported antivirus solution. Second, you can check to make sure your devices have Spectre and Meltdown related OS updates installed and enabled. And third, you can make sure that your devices have related firmware or microcode updates installed and enabled. One tip here. To get the full value out of this assessment, you'll need to make sure you whitelist the following endpoint in your PC environment. This will ensure your computers are able to receive the most up-to-date information that Microsoft has available about Spectre and Meltdown-related mitigations. Next, to keep tabs on the security and compliance of your PC environment, Windows Analytics Update Compliance allows you to look at the status of your Windows 10 devices across quality, security, and feature updates, and surfaces up relevant insights. On the homepage, we can see if any devices require attention for being on an out-of-support version of Windows or being several months behind on security updates, as well as any devices that have recently encountered update issues. We've also recently added a new capability that many of you have requested called Delivery Optimization Status. If you're not familiar with Delivery Optimization, it allows you to use peer-to-peer -peer sharing to minimize the impact of large updates on your network bandwidth. Before Delivery Optimization, if all of your users are updating from internet-based sources, each PC would download the same payload with a large impact on your network. By enabling delivery optimization, only a subset of your devices need to download the payload from the internet, and then they can share the bits locally with the remaining devices. With update compliance, you're able to see which devices are configured to receive updates from different sources, as well as the total bandwidth being used across each content source. You can see your bandwidth savings by percentage or by total number of gigabytes. Using this report, you can optimize your network configuration and settings 
to realize the full potential of delivery optimization. Finally, device health for your Windows 10 devices provides an overall view of device and driver reliability, as well as app reliability and logon health. We've had device and driver reliability reporting to identify system crashes caused by drivers and system processes for a while now. And we've recently added app reliability to get a view of Win32 executables and UWP app reliability events. By clicking in, you'll see more details. You could use this information to change driver or application versions to ones that are more reliable in your environment. And you can even compare your crash rate versus comparable commercial averages. And to help with your transition to modern asymmetric authentication with Windows Hello, we've added metrics for logon types, from facial recognition to fingerprint and pin-based logons. You can use this report to inform decisions. For example, as you begin to phase out password logon, you can see if anything is affecting the reliability of Windows Hello logons. If the success rates are low, you can click in to get a deeper analysis and take corrective actions. Now, Device Health has a few special considerations in terms of setup. You can learn more about the requirements at the link shown. So that was an overview of Windows Analytics along with our new capabilities. Remember, Windows Analytics is a free service. To get started, you can check out the links shown. And as always, keep giving us your feedback. Thanks for watching.